All right, welcome back, good people. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to view these quick videos that I like to create once a week to kind of enhance, enlighten, and educate people about different things that I do research on during the week. This week's videos were on branding. So I'm gonna go into more information about the branding process, what a brand is, and on and on. Now, right now we're gonna talk about five elements of a brand. As a business owner, you cannot make the mistake of putting all the weight of your brand on your logo. It's important to know that your brand is the complete story of what you want to communicate about your business and the perfection, perception that you leave in the hearts and minds of your audience. Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon said, said it best when he said, your brand is what people say about you when you leave the room. That's why before you even think about creative logos or marketing, you must have, a, have clarity on what your brand truly includes. Now, I'll be talking more about these in other videos that you'll be watching, hopefully. So right now, I want to talk about brand purpose. The first step of any brand building activity is to define and understand your why. Why you choose to do what you do. Why do you exist? Why do you matter? Number two, your brand positioning. When developing your overall positioning, there are three questions that you must answer to establish your point of differentiation and make your brand the go-to choice instead of the alternative. Number one is, what is the exact category that my brand is in? It's important to understand what makes you, what, what market you are looking to dominate, where the opportunities are, and if there are any gaps that you can fill. Number two, who is my best target audience? You cannot and should not be all things to all people. That's why you must narrow your target market down to your ideal customer and really understand their specific needs and pain points. And number three, what really sets my brand apart relative to the competition? Every brand should look to deliver a unique story in the market. What is it about your brand that makes you the rock star of your industry. Now, while there are many similar products and services in the marketplace, there is only one you, right? So once you can clearly answer these questions, then you're much closer to setting your brand up for positional power. Number three, brand promise. In your personal life, in our personal lives, promises mean a lot to us when it comes to building trust with other people. Well, that same principle applies when it comes to relationships we have with brands. When a brand conveys a promise, it is communicating a guarantee of value to its audience. In many ways, your brand promise is a direct extension of your positioning and the expectation that it sets. Now, that's three of the five elements you'll have to tune in for the next video to get the other two. Now I told you I'll be talking about the five elements. One was the brand purpose, two was the brand positioning, and three was the brand promise. Now there are a couple more and I'll put those on the next video. I simply wanted to kind of whet your appetite and let you kind of digest what was said so that you know you could understand it better. And you can actually go back over and play this again as needed to make sure that you have it, right? Now, my name is Larry James. My company is Speak With Larry. That's my brand. So, whenever you see Speak With Larry, your mind should always come back to me. And my company, what it does is help you set up the, set up the foundation of your online business while assisting you with becoming more comfortable speaking about it. Because as you set up your business, speaking is another revenue source for you. A lot of people have a fear of speaking. You may be one of those. I was one of those. But you can get over that the more confident you become about your product, your service, or what it is that you're doing, right? So, uh, again, I'm not going to take long on these videos, but I appreciate you watching them. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And I'll see you on the next video.